where you do invest in the relationship and build it, then there's great uh, benefits down the road. Because once trust is established, people are much more relaxed. And life is a lot easier with people you trust than it is with people that you're always on guard with. And if you look at some of the studies uh, internationally, they've studied really societies in which people trust each other versus societies that don't. And the ones that don't, there's huge unhappiness. And in the societies where most people expect their neighbors to do the reasonable thing, uh, you know, they, uh, you find very high reporting of people being happy with their lives, happy with the people around them, that sort of thing. So a right relationship, even though it's a kind of intangible, is fundamental to human well-being. And so even though it seems esoteric to talk about it a lot, where there has been a kind of development of it uh, across you know, individuals and groups and so on, then you have the possibility of a kind of uh, well-being that's shared amongst many people because people have faith in the collective arrangements. They trust uh, the people around them. They trust their governments. They trust, uh, you know, uh, the stranger. Um, so these are real achievements. People can get to that point. Uh, but also we can see, of course, countless examples where they didn't and where, uh, you know, uh, great harm is done uh, to people. So this is why, uh, you know, I, uh, I think it's very important in the realm of lives of people with disabilities, their families and others, that this be almost a cornerstone of other things. Uh, because it's so enduring down through the centuries, the necessity for people to have right relationship, that let that be the first thing that gets done and everything else will be better because of it. It's not the only thing you need, but it certainly makes life a lot easier when people feel they're in right relationship.